So coaches, this is about how you can find your best payday. So I was just having some messages with a coach on Instagram and he was asking some really good questions. I wanna answer this for you because if you wanna be able to build your fitness business to be able to have you doing the work that you really love, number one. Number two, it has you earning the money that you really wanna be able to. And three, you're not having the stress of constantly having to chase after new clients. So when it comes down to how you can have your best payday there are six points that we need to answer and you can do this right now with me as we go through it in this episode Also, if we're just meeting for the first time, hi, I'm Chris Dufay, and I help coaches build a business and life that they love. So the coach that was asking the questions on Instagram wanted to know, well, what should he do? Does he start an app or a membership site, or does he do online coaching that's high ticket? And this is where we can answer the question right now and actually make sure that you design your business to give you what you want. This is where we really come down to the very start of making sure that you are in the right business model because what is worse than working so hard, grinding, really putting all your time and effort and money towards to only end up with a business that's really not giving you what you want. That to me would be absolute hell. (laughs) Don't worry, I was in that position because as a one-on-one trainer, you can be in the problem where really you are seeing clients face-to-face day in, day out. And I felt trapped in that situation. That's why I wanted to build an online coaching business. So especially if you're wanting more free Freedom, let's go through those six points right now. So the first point that you need to answer is what are you actually good at? When it comes to you being able to get your clients results, what are your strengths? Because simply, if you're really good at getting people weight loss, then you being able to help people get stronger or faster or more agile might not be the right thing. The second point we need to answer is what work do you enjoy? If you really enjoy sitting down, writing nutrition programs, writing training, training programs, and then maybe you don't enjoy following up clients that don't pay you, then you need to make sure that you're designing your business in a way that you're doing the work that you love, you're getting your clients the best results, and really you're able to build a business that gives you the lifestyle that you want. So I kind of hinted to the third point right then, and that was getting your clients the best results. Knowing the clients that you want to be coaching right now, knowing the work that you want to be doing, then we need to integrate the two together, and that is how can you best serve your clients. You need to think of it in a way of you doing the work that you absolutely love and being able to get your clients the best possible results. This third factor is key for you making sure that you have a business that gives you what you really want. Now, the final three points is really making sure that your business and your business model is set up in a way for you to have that lifestyle factor. And the first point is, is what is the price point that you're going to be selling at? A lot of coaches come on board and be like, well, Chris, how much should I be charging for my coaching program? And to be perfectly honest, asking that question straight up is kind of like me saying, how long is a piece of string? It's however long it is at the end of the day. We need to go deeper into it. But when you know who your market is, what you're actually doing and how you're serving your clients, the results that you're getting, the actual service quality, then we can start to put together what is gonna be the right price point for you. Then what we need to do from that is we need to make sure that you know what's actually inside the coaching. What are you doing to deliver your clients' results to them? And remember, a lot of the time, coaches want to be able to give. I know that you're watching this right now because you're good at what you do. You want to get your clients the best possible results. So just say for one example, when we had this conversation on Instagram, I was like, well, how many times are you talking to clients? He's like, oh, I want to be talking to my clients every single week. I want a one-on-one call with every client every week. And look, that's absolutely fantastic, but you've got to ask, one, do they want that? Two, do they actually need that? And number three, is it a scalable way for you to build your business? Because this comes into the sixth and final factor, which is how do you scale your business? What is it that you really want to do? Let's not just think in, say, the next three or 12 months. Let's actually think beyond that. What do you want your business to look like in three, five, 10 plus years down the track? What's the work that you want to be doing? Because 
For example, when I was a personal trainer back in Dubai, I asked myself that question, do I want to be doing this in 10 plus years? And the answer was a magnificent no. And that's where I needed to change the business model. I needed to change what I was doing to make sure I was really getting the results that I wanted and I could best serve the clients that I have as well. So this is what you need to do. Right now, go through, answer those six factors that we've done and to make sure that you are building a business, you are being able to do the work that you love and really help the people because look, you're here because you have a passion for health and fitness. So make sure that you do it in a way that you can best serve the world and that you enjoy the process at the same time. Create the freedom that you really want. So if you've enjoyed this episode, click like and as always, thank you so much for being here and being here in Venice, California as we shoot this for you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Now, this is where I want to make sure that you get the most out of being here and I want to hear from you. So if you've enjoyed this episode, click like and to make sure I can send you the new episodes each and every week, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, I really want to make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need. So comment below. I want to know what you're going to take away from this episode. And the best conversations after every episode always happen in the Breaking Success Tribe. I'll pop a link below for you to join the free group so you get access to the guides, the live streams. I'm in there answering your questions personally each and every day. Plus, you get all the episodes as well. So thank you so much for being here and joining us. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.